Triumph Bonneville is a two-wheeled motoring icon that's as British as a plate of fish, chips and mushy peas. Even though production is now in Thailand, and its name was originally derived from those famous salt flats in Utah. Thank you very much. Cheers. Today the Bonneville is more about chasing memories than any land speed records, with a bike that both steadfastly and romantically retains the look of the 1950s original, but serves it up with modern day performance, handling and reliability. As soon as you lay eyes on the Bonneville, you can feel it working hard to evoke all those cafe racer memories, albeit in a modern day context of twin tube frame, disc brakes and electric start. Base models get 17 inch alloys, but on this T100 version, you've got these beautifully spoked wire wheels, slab seat, pea shooter exhausts, tachometer, fork shrouds, and these hand painted coach lines on the fuel tank. Fuel injection may have been standard since 2008, but even the throttle bodies have been cast to look like a pair of traditional Amal carburetors. I love that. Unfortunately, there are other elements on the bike that aren't quite so considered. The fuel cap doesn't have a lock on it. The rectifier is clumsily located beneath the headlight. Plus, the location of this ignition chamber means that if you've got any other keys on your key ring, which you will have, it's gonna scratch and rattle as you're riding. There aren't any such complaints about the engine, which is the same 865cc parallel twin that's used in the Scrambler and the Thruxton, combined with the five-speed manual box, although this one has been tuned to deliver more mid-range and produces 67 brake horsepower. I've got treetops under my head I've got seasons under my bed I've got troubles in the night time Troubles in the daytime The modern Bonneville is very user friendly The bars and pegs are well spaced to make the riding position nice and roomy while performance is really smooth, refined and surprisingly sprightly Dynamically speaking, it does stumble There isn't much ground clearance for cornering and both the seat and rear suspension are very basic but these can be easily solved with the help of Triumph's passionate specialists and their myriad upgrades. Regardless, this bike will put a big smile on your face. I've got troubles in the nighttime, troubles in the daytime. In a Sunday afternoon cruising context, this Bonneville is utterly charming. It's effortless to ride and so nostalgic. In fact, all I need now is the smell of Castrolar. You could quite easily fall in love with a bike like this. And who could blame you? The iconic name, the classic styling and the mild manners will make the Bonneville an appealing choice for a lot of people. Whether you're new to riding, coming back to riding or simply fancy a second bike to cover and ride out on the sunny days. Granted, in standard guise, it doesn't really encourage any superlatives. But just as in the 50s and the 60s, if you look at this bike as a blank canvas, as your blank canvas, then it is one awesome place to start.